What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last War for 2.0. Uh, it was a tough matchup against War and Glory, another great clan. Um, just getting one after another. This was an arranged matchup, though. Uh, so, congrats, I should say, to War and Glory. They did come away with a one star victory. Um, kind of came down to the end, and uh, we did have uh, some attacks. We weren't able, I think, just one attack. Yeah, just uh, Matt here. Um, had a, or was it Matt? Oh, it was Matt. Oh, you can't see it. It was Matt. Um, we had a chance to tie, but we weren't going to win with percentage. Uh, Matt, I think, had a bit of an emergency. We did have um, a couple guys ready to make his attack for him. But looking at things, even if we got the tie, we were not going to win. So no sense in spending his gems just to tie and lose. So we just kind of ended up where it was. Uh, so grats, War and Glory. Really nice war. Really sexy bases. Uh, kind of scroll the way down here. We did clear up the board on the nines. Had to use a couple bully attacks, so you know they did have some very nice bases in there. Um, and then, but we did come away with one CH10 triple, so you know, two star at everything. Um, we can't complain about this loss, right? We did our job for the most part. Uh, one more TH10 triple uh, still would have only given us the tie, which would have meant we lost in percentage, anyways. Um, so, you know, Warren Glory did a fantastic job. Um, but so did 2.0. I mean, this is this is something we like to see all the safe two star secured, uh, giving ourselves some TH10 triple attempts. And, and what more can you ask for, right? So, uh, Grats to a great war, and I got some awesome replays. I'm going to change things up. I think from now on, I'm going to start at the bottom of the map and then work my way up to the TH10 triple. So uh, we're going to jump in, check out Chatty's attack on number 30. I think this was the only Lalo um, of the war, basically. <laughs> uh, there are so many Gobos, it's just crazy. Um, and some other little variations of things, but uh, this was, a, I'm, I think, the only pure Shattered Lalo of the war. I think Chatty reads this beautifully here, too, because golems are going in. You're going to see this nice clean jump into this compartment, and that queen pad is right there, so that you know that queen's going to jump into this compartment. So one jump, and you're at the queen, you're at an air defense, Sorry, two air defense you're going to uh, run by. This rage is imperative. Um, needs to get that queen to step up. Just one step. There we go. Queen gets in that rage and really starts ripping through like things like that uh, dark elixir storage. Going to start just working on these troops. Who really wants to get that other air defense, and he's looking good. I mean, when you get uh, when you one clean jump like that, gets the defensive queen, two air defenses, and the CC troops, what does that mean? That means shatter Lalo time, right? <clears throat> so any second now, as soon as that air defense goes down, you're going to see the air attack commence. Here we go. So huge spread on this Lava Hound. Uh, I thought that was a really good, interesting placement. Haste is going to push everything in on top of uh, the Tesla and the Wiz Tower. Just continue to move everything around in this counterclockwise motion. In goes the other uh, Lava Hound. Right on time. Right as the other one bursts. So looking good. Few more balloons just sprinkling in. Rage goes down nice and patient with this air attack. Still has five balloons in the bag and this one lava hound for this bottom location. And it is about to go in. There she is. Two loons, two loons. One more loon. See a later base because this does not stand a chance once this rage goes down. And there it is. Bam, 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 bam. Everything's going down at the same time. Queen's even going to step up there and help finish things off. So very sexy rage, Chad. Really, really uh, like seeing these old school shattered Lalos. That is treat stars in the bag. Awesome. Uh, da -da -da -da, 28. Our fearless leader mouthpiece showing us how it's done. Just a straight, straight standard go -ho. There are so many of these double jump. Um, I mean, this comp right here, guys, this is it, right? I mean, you'll see slight variations of the amount of hogs versus the amount of belks, sometimes versus the amount of golems. Sometimes you'll see a bit of a queen walk thrown in there. Sometimes you'll see earthquakes instead of the jumps, but th the same principle t applies to, to this attack every time. You want to open up as much of the base with the valks as you can while at the same time controlling where they go so that you can plan for your heels, you can plan for what th structures or, you know, the um, 
the enemy heroes are going to go down, when the CC is going to come out. Uh, so everything's looking good. Poison goes down, take care of that stuff. He's going to drop one more jump spell right over top of this little intersection. There she is. So he's opened up uh, basically this compartment, this compartment, and the whole core compartment all the way to this back edge wall and still has 20 hogs available. So he's going to start sprinkling these hogs in. So this is what I thought was just beautiful about this attack. A couple hogs in on this back mortar, a few more in, help out in the queen chamber and just kind of just, just starts feeding them around the base surgically, right? Here we go, three hogs, there we go. Everything, get a few more in on those archer towers, make sure those go down quickly. And then there is a Tesla farm here. There's four Teslas hanging out right here. Uh, so drops the heel just perfectly and then drops the rest of the hogs right on the Tesla farm to push everything through. Queen stepping up now to help things out. But as you can see, it does lose a few hogs to some of those Teslas, but not very many, right? Just has just the right amount to get through those Teslas. Um, cause four Teslas hitting one hog under a heel is going to take it down. Not quite as quickly, but it will die. It doesn't stay alive. So you really got to be careful on any of those Tesla traps when you're using hogs. You need to have enough hogs to push through it. Mouthpiece does it perfectly. There we go. Clean up time. Clean up wizard up top. I like that. The archer on the army cam. <coughs> Beautiful. <clears throat> Tree stars in the bag. Job mode piece. MP. All right. Let's go up to 23 days. Nice little six pack war. A lot of guys had some really nice six packs. I was actually helping Days plan this attack. Um, I was initially, we were Days and I were in the same group, so I had been scouting this base already. I was thinking of something very, very similar when Days posted his plan. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> it's almost exactly what I was going to do. I was, I was debating whether I could charge the queen in here. Um, but I think Daze makes the better decision. Still opens up the wall so she can step up and take care of these defenses. But does nothing to this wall. Doesn't jump her in. Um, that was kind of where, where my plan, kind of, I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to get the queen into this chamber. Um, my thoughts were was to get the CC pulled out to her. But Daze just says, screw it. I don't need the CC. I'm just going to get the queen. I'm going to get all these defenses. Continue to walk, the, walk down to the 3 o'clock position. And once she gets down there, he's going to enter with uh, this cold-blooded golem and the Valks. Uh, just plays this beautifully, I thought. Everything is absolutely great. Does have to rage it up here because that queen uh, king's giving a little bit of trouble. <laughs> I remember when I was watching this attack, I'm like, rage, rage, rage. I just, I don't know. I'm, I get so worried now like that my queen's going to die. So I tend to try and rage a little bit early. I've mentioned this before. Um, I've had too many queens die because I'm trying to conserve my rage versus just using it and ripping through the base and dealing with, you know, the fact that you used a rage early later on in the raid. So I really like the the, ta the tile counting on the, this placement. That golem is in the perfect spot to not walk to that cannon, like a quarter tile more towards the cannon. And it was, it was going over there. Um, so it does leave it up, like this queen has to get through, but so he recognizes that, drops the one hog, the queen's tank, and it doesn't matter. Cold blood of gold's in, all those valves are in, jump goes down, poison's going to go down, help take care of the, slow down the P.E.K.K.A., slow down the wizard. The valves are going to lock right on anyways, drops the heal spell down, so there's a jump, two poisons, and a heal in this cluster of spells right now. See this queen kind of gets stuck on this wall? That's kind of a good thing, but it would have been so awesome if she had just kept walking around and joined up. But she does now anyway. So Queen finally joined up with the kill squad in this huge open alleyway. So there's nothing blocking these Valks. And there's only three compartments for the for the hogs to deal with, right? So he sent in the hogs, a few on each defense. Really only threats are the, the point defense is here and then that expo. And I believe there's some bombs in here. Maybe not. The skeletons end up taking down the hog before the air defense goes down. But the queen hops in here. Heel goes down. Take care of those hogs. Really nice spring trap placements for uh, War and Glory as well. Um, some of our, uh, I know, myself included, struggled with uh, losing too many hogs to too many spring traps. There is that double giant bomb there. So unfortunately, his cleanup hogs get taken out. But it doesn't matter. He's got so much stuff around this base. Valks, the king. Again, once everything got into this open alleyway, there was nothing to stop them uh, from just continuing to walk through the rest of the base. I am not a fan of these just open concept bases. It is what it is. Town Hall 9 is very tricky these days. So um, really, as long as you're getting a first defense, you're doing a pretty good job with your base building. So, <clears throat> uh, all right, just one more up. Uh, good old cheap Lalo. Love this guy.
Lalo, uh, unfortunately, has realized the power of Gobaho with double jump or jump. And in this case, because Lalo is a crazy mofo, <laughs> we'll just say, uh, brings earthquakes and a jump. So I thought this was really cool. Just opens all this up with the earthquake. Um, I might have just tried to jump it, like just double jump it and then save so you got an extra heal. Lalo's a crazy bastard though. So he just goes in and says, you know what? I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to use the jump placement right over this expo. It's going to let me into so much of this base that really I'm not going to have to hog very much. And I got 22 hogs in the bag to, to back everything up. So uh, you see that first heal went down a little bit early, I think, but no big deal. See, those Valks aren't even really standing in it. Uh, could have put it more over near the jump, but it doesn't matter. Uh, jump spell is connecting this Tesla farm, which is a huge, huge, huge key to this raid. And and sends in the hogs, so they meet up with the Valks and this kill squad at the exact same time, uh, which I thought was really cool. So see these hogs kind of coming in here with all those Valks just jumping in as well. They're doing tanking for stuff. Um, you know, so really just have to worry about the outer point defenses. Uh, drops a few more hogs on the very, very back side. Takes out that archer tower. There's only a couple archer towers and a couple cannons left actually in this base. Like just crush this base, Lalo. Really nice attack, my friend. Clean up time. We've got a clean up wizard down there though. Just perfect placement on your troops, buddy. I always find it very interesting when a town hall nine brings earthquakes and a jump. That's such a huge spell investment. But when you get the access to the base like this, um, it's just worth it. So tree stars in the bag, buddy. Good job. Uh, da -da -da -da. More up. What I got here. Seventeen. <clears throat> Seven, number 17 getting hit by S17. This is a really sexy attack. So brings the zap quake. He's going to zap quake this uh, kind of nine o'clock air defense. Uh, queen sort of charge walk. Walk charge goes down, I guess. And another coffee. <clears throat> so is going to just walk the queen up and around to about this two o'clock spot. Bust her in. Get her in access to, to all of this. She's going to get both of those air defenses in there. Already has zap quake that and sends in um, a bunch of dragons kind of on this bottom side. Uh, or sorry, I guess more like the 7 o'clock. And you're going to kind of see how this all plays out because this queen gets big value. We're going to time to this because she's got to work through so much. Takes down the expo. First she gets that air defense, which is key. She could have got it when she goes in up here anyways. But uh, takes down that expo. I like the giant tank to get those wall breakers in. That was really neat. Um, I don't think of that enough as is. Um... I generally would have waited until that wizard tower just died from my queen walk and then wall broke. But uh, that's a cool idea too, to ensure that she walks right into that apartment. But you can see just get amazing, amazing value. So I was going to step up here, pull out the CC troops. Poison goes down. Rage now goes down. Just rips through those CC troops like nothing. Rips through that wizard tower. Is going to rip through this wizard. Just so overpowered. This little, little thing you see here. Four or five healers, a rage spell on your queen. Just nothing can take it down. So in come the dragons. Drops two down here to help create a create a bit of a funnel. Gonna push everything onto that cannon and then slowly kind of tic-tac-toe or plinko it into the queen chamber. So once those two go down, there's nowhere else for them to go. King goes down to help uh, continue to create that funnel. Queen's about to step up and yank all those dragons right into the queen chamber. See that Tesla farm go up? Uh, so what I thought was really neat about this raid too was only five balloons and a lava hound. Because he recognized that it wasn't going to get to that last air defense. Um, so watch this lava hound. It does not last long. So I don't know if he got the most value or the value he wanted to out of this. Because watch, boom, takes a, takes a mine, which is huge. Takes another mine, which is huge. The black mine on that hound is huge. You don't want to lose those dragons, right? So soaked up the black mine. It does blow up very, very quickly. And the balloons don't even end up getting the air defense uh, because of that stupid sweeper. But all the, it gave these dragons enough time to get right in on top of everything. Take down the Tesla farm and gave that queen, more importantly, enough time to bust through that wall and get up here and finish things off. So, uh, see, he is losing a few, right? He, 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 at this point, he wanted the air defense to be down, but it didn't matter. He bought his queen enough time. His king's in there, right? It's 99% done. See you later. Tree stars in the bag for S17 on number 17. Job, my friend. Not, uh, recently promoted to 2.0 uh, a couple weeks ago. So, welcome, buddy. Uh, I don't know if I formally mentioned it yet or not. We've had a lot of guys uh, 
moving up. Uh, DWS and I today are getting together and doing a video about One Hive Venom, our new Town Hall 8 addition to the uh, 2.0 family. So <clears throat> more information on that coming, guys. But OneHiveClan.com uh, has the application, I believe. So go ahead and check it out. Um, all right, let's jump right up here. Check out this sexy attack by MoFo. So other than the walls, this is a max Town Hall 10. Uh, you know, 40-40 heroes, Mo just steps in and shreds this up. I do like how he brought this golem here and a bit of a walk. Um, so sort of short, only two Lava Hounds, right? So he needs to get, when you're bringing a golem, when you're not, when you're only, when you're not bringing four Lava Hounds to a Town Hall 10 triple, you really need to get a lot out of your kill squad or out of your walk or, or whatever it is you're doing. So kind of watch how this plays out. This whole compartment's now down. Queen's going to take out this Tesla. Continue to just move everything in here. He really wants to get this air defense out of the deal. He's going to get that sweeper, which is huge, right? Because it's covering kind of that middle of the base right over those te uh, inferno towers. Um, so wall breakers are in. Wall is now open. He's going to be able to step into this compartment and take out. He's going to be able to reach that air defense. <coughs> so once that is done, boom, rage goes down. Times two this a little bit, bam, 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 knocking everything out. Uh, goes ahead and sends in a lure, brings the clan castle over, bring drops a wizard to help with the lava hound. Looking good. All the pups are dead. Air defense is down. Queen's gonna continue on her way. So in goes this little bit of a kill squad. Jump goes down. Cold blooded golem in. Boom, knocks that second air defense down, takes down the defensive queen, and even gets the Inferno Tower. That was absolutely awesome. Ah, oh, I shouldn't be fast forwarding at the stupid. Anyways, as you see, Hounds went in on uh, the backside air defense here. Uh, Haste all went down on a horseshoe. Like, just huge, huge, huge value on that kill squad, right? Uh, so many balloons left over. It's a very, very compact base for Town Hall 10. Um, so I think that's what ended up being the downfall of it. Um, you know, he was able to just walk that queen in and around, uh, strategically take out those air defense. I think the Inferno Tower there was a bonus. I don't even think he was necessarily banking on getting the Inferno Tower, but just a fantastic hit mofo. Three stars in the bag. Beautiful. So I wanted to show uh, this uh, Town Hall 10 stepping up versus a near max 11. I guess not. Well. Yeah, near. Just needs five levels on that uh, ward in there. Um, but this was just a really, really, really sexy attack. 18 Valkyries, self fence brings here. Um, it, it is just a two-star hit, right? So keep that in mind. Um, but I thought this was just such a, sorry, 19 Valkyries, because he dropped one out for uh, a funneling troops there. Pulls out the CC, so CC's uh, poison's going down. Uh, she's going to lock onto that lab hand. Wizard is going to go down to that poison, no big deal. Let's get one shot off on the queen, but doesn't matter. Does not burn the does not burn his rage here, I should say. Another poison goes down, helps the pups a touch, and there goes the rage, right? Gonna heal her back up while she rips through those pups and is gonna step up and continue to take out this section of the base. Has quite a few wall breakers here. Um, I believe opens things up uh, on this side so we can get at that. Um, get at this kind of chamber in here. I don't know if he tries to walk it right in. I guess we're going to see in a second. I kind of forget this. I watched this attack live. I didn't actually even watch it um, when I had planned to do my attacks for the recap. So a uh, nice little valve tank there. I thought that was neat for the wall breakers. Yeah, so there goes that wall. <clears throat> I think what his plan here is to just to clear all of this stuff out. And then, I mean, he's got to get that town hall. So where does this do? He's got two jumps here. I there we go. So a couple minions are down. Going to continue to create that funnel, and then maybe just jumps right over this corner. Yeah, there it is. There she is. So the eagle's now locked onto that queen. So it is trouble for her. Has to has to burn the ability, which is good. Uh, walks around, continues to do some cleanup. And boom! Look at this. All the giants, all these box in there. Rage goes down. These buildings do not stand a chance, right? Like, look how fast that went down. The town hall went down in one shot under that rage. Everything went down. Inferno Tower is down. Everything's rocking down. The queen is still doing work down there. King's going to do a little bit of cleanup. So um, <laughs> everything does. Like, look how fast those Valks died. Um, it is violent. The reason he brought them all was because he just needed this this chamber to go down as fast as he could. He knew he was going to get the percentage with the walk and then his minions around the base. 
So all he really needed to do was ensure that Town Hall went down. That's why that Rage was there. That's why he brought all those Valks. So I thought that was a really sexy, creative uh, job at a Town Hall 10, stepping up and two-starring a Town Hall 11. Um, I was listening, or what was I listening to? Um, maybe it was in a stream. I think maybe one of his cold September streams last night or something. The new trick is going to be, how does a Town Hall 9 get two stars on a Town Hall 11? Maybe not a max one like this, but when there's an Eagle Cannon, right? That's going to, I think, be the new niche. Um for Town Hall 9 is to step up and hit those 11s to get two stars to kind of get your scouts out of the way and open up either bully attacks or triple attempts on uh, strong Town Hall 10s and a Town Hall 11. So I guess we'll see. Uh, but that about does it, guys. Uh, another tough war, right? Uh, we're staying strong, though. Uh, moving forward, a uh, lot of good matchups on the horizon. So please stay tuned. Kadok and I did uh, Slay My Base episode three this week. Uh, so that is uploading as we speak. I'm excited to say that. And like I had mentioned, doing a little promotional video uh, promoting our new clan, One Hive Venom. So uh, again, stay tuned for all that stuff. War and Glory, hats off. Fantastic war, gentlemen. Uh, I know you're in another war right now. So uh, good luck to you guys. And uh, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll be scheduling a rematch soon because we'll be out for some blood. That's for sure. <laughs> so that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser, guys. Just trying to help you beg that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.